nowadays when we talk about personalized medicines which we, we think of targeted therapies, we think about immunotherapies, we think about all those new therapies that appear on the market when precision medicine became a reality. When we talk about personalized medicines, we talk also about personalized diagnosis, is to know as much as we can and to define as much as we can about a specific disease in a very, very individual way. The way I treat one patient not necessarily is the best way to treat another patient with the same disease because we need to take into account how to combine the characteristics of the disease with the personal uh, characteristics that will influence the decisions. Health literacy is the level of understanding that a patient has, not only about its disease, but also about the treatments. The problem is that the health literacy level, the, the common level we find, is equivalent to five degree or six degree of education. And most of the information that is provided to a patient or that is given in the society related to diseases and prevention and even how to follow treatments is designed for nine or tenth degree of education. So the real uh, resources I have do not match the population will work with them. Patient organizations are doing a big effort to try to promote patient education and also to change the way doctors, physicians communicate with patients because it's important to understand the key, the key role they play to become patients educated and involved in their disease and in their decisions. We work together, I mean, as patient organizations, we work together with to promote better regulation in this sense as well. The industry must become a partner to make it possible as well. We need to work together all the stakeholders that participate with the patient.